So I'm doing a study session where we're largely doing review in Russian, just to kind of get a feel for this. I've been doing the bare minimum with just going over uh, my like overall set. I have several decks combined here and just doing like the daily uh, amount that I'd have there because it takes about a half hour or a little more than that, but it just has been draining me terribly. Oh my gosh, you don't feel motivation. Just like pull yourself up by the bootstraps and force yourself to do it. And then you'll do it. My, my whole point in studying languages is to enjoy the bloody process. If I'm not enjoying the process, I'm doing something wrong. However, um, I am trying to enjoy this more by setting things up with uh, this kind of recording, having some nice, pleasant music in the background. This is Haldian music. Uh, they have a lot of collections for study music. Um, all of these are classical artists, Chopin, Mozart, Debussy. I can't pronounce any of those, but at least I sound somewhat erudite saying Chopin. Uh, I don't even know if that's the right pronunciation. Nevertheless, we're not even worried about pronunciation of those names because we are focused on Russian. And the big thing that I want to get out with this is uh, it's a different process trying to chew through new words as opposed to going over stuff that you've already had some familiarity with. Going up here for the review cards. Oh, there's a bunch that's overdue, uh, which screw the numbers. Numbers don't mean anything with this. Uh, put in the time that you can. Um, and we're just going to go with uh, 200 here, which that sounds like a lot, but you go through them uh, pretty quickly. One thing to mention, if you do add images to your cards, um, that takes up data, you know, it takes up megabytes of data, depending on how large the file is and all that. Uh, so do you try and use smaller images? I'll use like screen caps a lot. And if you have uh, Anki for a mobile device and you like have your mobile device like chock full of videos and selfies, so you don't have that much free space on it, uh, then it could be uh, difficult. Anki could uh, take up a lot of uh, space with more photos and all of that. I'm not worried about that on my desktop here. I keep things, uh, I keep a good amount of storage open, um, but just a caveat to worry about. I'm very heavy on the visual learning side of it. I love having pictures that just keep me engaged with something um, and that it helps you click with the meaning. Uh, th this is so unnatural to not have a visual stimulus alongside whatever uh, words are going on, you know, super abstract, where that takes a certain level of development. Like when you're a kid and you're learning a language, you have stuff around you, you are physically interacting with it, which is the whole idea of uh, total physical response learning, of uh, you're fully engaged with acting out whatever the scene is. And you have, even if you're just like drawing things on a board where you're mimicking, like going into a store, you have this whole like, let's play pretend where one person is taking the role of the shopkeeper, the other person is the role of the customer, uh, and they are like actually pointing things out. Oh, I like the, and they're pointing to the blue shirt and they might not know the word blue, but the other person could help them. Oh, the blue one? Yes, the blue uh, uh, shirt. I want to buy that. You know, having that whole thing where you can't see me acting this out because I'm just doing the recording on the screen here, but um, that, that, that whole movement around is very important. And that's also why I like VR, is because you have the whole body language aspect of it, which adds stimulation. The more stimulation that you have, uh, that, well, the more stimulation you have, the easier it is to remember something. And in fact, stimulation is necessary in order for the formation of memories. 